Hey, what is up everybody? It's me gaming with you. I bring guys another video. So in today's video, I'm back with a Minecraft hardcore survival map. It's been a while since I've played hardcore and I decided why not just play it today. Um, I'm still... Uh, the video I uploaded yesterday or today for me, yesterday for you guys, um, if you're from USA or whatever. Um, I said that, that I'm still quite sad and that my friend unfortunately took her own life and I am still i'm not gonna get over it so i'm just letting you guys know now i'm not gonna get over it because she was really close to me so i'm um, so if i do feel sad like as i said in the previous video just forget about it um i believe this is the survival way just give me one second i'll see you guys in like one second let me just make sure my audio synced um switching to switching to uh what's this called buckets in three two one switch uh switching back to shovel in three two one switch there we go. Okay, just making sure audio is synced indeed. Oh my god, I forgot in I, I believe I, I started mining last video or I did it offline or solo. Oh damn. Oh, okay. Well that was fun. Just started mining now and I got diamonds ready. Wow, okay. Okay, I see. Oh, we got well, one two three four five six seven wow eight diamonds wink eight diamonds wow that's an incredible start to a video wow okay i already got most of my diamond tools so i don't really need diamonds for for now unless i want to start making enchanted stuff so i don't necessarily need diamonds but um this feels like a this feels like a completely different survival. Like I don't know why it feels like my main one, but it isn't. Cause oh god, oh no, I didn't. I thought I was lost. You guys saw that, right? Oh, the creeper right. Oh, please, please, please don't let me go after I just got a brilliant start to a video. Come on. I'm not gonna say anything. Otherwise, I'm gonna. Jinx myself. Oh my goy. Here on X Games Moth. Don't know how I survived that. I, I know, but I have full enchanted. Last protection, yeah. Last protection. As long as the chest plate's blast protection, I'm pretty immune to creeper deaths. As long as I have like a decent like iron, iron isn't that rare, but as long as I have like an iron chest plate with blast protection two or one or whatever then it's no need for me to worry about creepers because it's going to be quite unlikely for them to kill me so that's pretty cool about blast blast protection uh i think in the previous episode i finished up this 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 house's floor and everything i believe um oh goy i still need to get enough sugar cane for that um yeah, yeah, I said, oh, look at those, man, that's actually a lot of diamonds, I don't know why I say fam, it's so annoying when I say it, ah, uh, stone, I believe, yes, ah, uh, you oh yeah, this is stone items like andersite and stuff like that, okay, okay, I th okay, this needs to go there then, I can't remember where I said I was going to put dirt. Don't know what I was going to do there. I believe those are going to be for blast furnaces. Oh, sh Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. These are a lot of zombies. Oh, my God. Why the f... I'm so bad. Like, I got hit so many times. Okay, that's going to be the food chest. Okay, I know I remember. Okay, then I want to go. Let me just make sure I still have enough. Okay, I'm already at 420. <laughs> okay, um, it's time for me to sleep. Uh, wow, this episode has been going really well so far. Yeah, okay, so I'm kind of gonna. I decided I think I think I want to talk about my friend that took her own life. I don't want to talk too much, I don't want to say her name or anything for privacy reasons, of course, because I don't want to like put, put her family in that situation. You know, for the unlikely events of this video getting popular, or my channel getting popular, I don't want her families or her to be exposed to sh shit like this. So, um, 
she was a really close friend of mine. Um, we always used to play Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. And she, she was one of my closest friends from Minecraft that time. She, was, she wasn't necessarily that close to me anymore because we started kind of drifting away from each other. But um, we always knew that we were going to be close friends. And no matter what, we, 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 we respected each other. And although we met on a game, I don't give a fuck that we met on Minecraft or met on a different game or whatever. She was still my friend and my best friend. And she kind of like, I don't want to say what happened um, to why she did it. But like, let's just say she had a very bad life. Um... I already talked to, to one of my friends, Dimitri. You guys might have heard, seen him in one of my videos. I talked to Dimitri about it and, and he said that it's, that it's fine to feel sad or, and whatever. Um, yeah, so I... We were really close friends. We met on Minecraft and we had a huge group of friends that time that used to play Minecraft. Um, so, Peter, hmm? so you can sit here okay. Okay, um, sorry, there's a family issue. Let me just quickly pause the video right here and I'll see you guys in like a second, of course. Yo, okay, so sorry about that. Family, uh, not family problems, but that's that's what I get for being an uncle. Um, anyway, we were very close friends. We met online um, and she she was she was always a really close person to me she was we had a huge group that always used to play minecraft on 360 and it's not huge necessarily but i mean 10 people that play that used to play on the same map it wasn't a server or anything because i don't think xbox 360 edition had servers um or still doesn't have servers but like uh whenever i was online and the gang was online i would always invite them to a party and we would always sit together play and go fucking crazy forget about every single problem we used to have um and she was a very big part of that map she joined quite late she was one of the latecomers to that map because it was only just me and her always playing she never liked to play when with other people she would always just like to be alone to play with just me um and that's that's basically all and that's that's why i was really sad she was really close to me she always never she whenever we were playing she would always leave her problems and i only talk about me because i was i was like a really sad that was like a really sad time of my life when i met her which was unfortunate that, that i met her when i was so sad but I was always sad when I was with her, not not because of a, a person she was or whatever. It was just like growing up in like a shitty, shitty time for me where I was like always, um, where I was like always getting bullied and everything. And she was always there. And although a thing happened, um, I can say that that her father was was murdered during a robbery. He was it was in the bank and they robbed it while he was in the bank and he was shot during the robbery and uh, her father was unfortunate en enough to be killed and stuff like that so so whenever we were talking she would always talk come to me to talk to me about it and every time she would call me and whatever I would I would tell her that I was feeling sad and she would tell me that she was also feeling sad and then uh she would she would completely block out the fact that she had problems and always talk about mine um and was always wanting to be make me happy and that was why she was a really big part of my life she still is a big part of my life and um although i'm not christian or anything i still believe she's in a better place um i hope so, i hope so at least like um yeah that's that's all i could say about her she was just truly an amazing beautiful young woman that had to deal with so much shit growing up from such a young age i mean she was 15 she would have been 15 and that is really sad and i'm just happy that all this is the only way i cope i just all that i can say that is that i'm happy that she's not in pain anymore that's the only coping method i have like 
Uh, it's sad. I, t I told her brother that I just wish there was something I could have done. Um, or at least try and prevent her, even though Instagram is fucking stupid and it almost never sends out notifications to me. Like, yeah. Uh, that's the only problem. Um, I should go to mine. And you mag TV kijken. Yeah. Okay, what else do I need? Okay, I already have the. Oh my. Okay, I nearly walked in there. Oh yeah, that's why she was such a big part of my life. It's sad, but you know, what can we do? Nothing really. Um, but yeah, this episode started off really great. So we got diamonds straight away, which was amazing. Which was really amazing, and 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 yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, what else can I do? I can still have diamonds. I, can't, I don't know why I expect them to be gone. I need to filter out the inventory because it's really messy. I want to put like a bunch of maybe three furnaces over here or whatever, so I can cook the food. I'll just do this for now. But yeah, let me just make sure the audio is synced. I am going to switch to my um, shovel in 3, 2, 1, switch. And then there we go. Okay, the audio should be in sync now. Let me just get let me just get these three sheets. And I'm going to end off this episode here. Because this was a very heartwarming for me. Because I could talk about what a person she, person, person she was. I couldn't even talk. Oh yeah, that's the end of this episode. And... Sorry this episode started off so good and then ended quite sad, but like, I'm happy that she's better, that she's hopefully better now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Gaming with Joe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.